Aging as an artist has been great for me. Um, aging in general has come with its challenges, but um, getting to move through this stage of my life and arriving um, at this place in my life with a paintbrush in my hand and a story or two in my heart that I still want to tell um, and the freedom because of my age to tell that story and make that art is just has turned out to be the best uh, time in my life. I've uh, been an artist most of my life, so I'm speaking from that perspective here, but even um, if you've never picked up a paintbrush or anything else to make art, but you've always wanted to, but now you feel like maybe you've run out of time to even try, let me tell you this. Whether or not you've painted all your life or maybe you're taking a beginner's painting class for seniors at your retirement community center, no one has any time left to be an artist but the very moment that they are in. But as soon as you make or start art or return to making art or keep making art, call out to the world that you are an artist because that's what you are. You make art, you're an artist. And then if you or I are so lucky to have another moment after that to make art again, make some more art and so on and so on. But art happens in the moment you're making it, not in some future dream or in some past regret of uh, not having made it or not having enough time left to make it. Nothing happens if we don't do something. If you try something or you do something, something will happen because of what you did. And you really don't have to be a skilled artist to enjoy this process. It's all art making, it's art making all on its own, regardless of the outcome. Now, um, I know most people wanting to be an artist at any age want to make art they are proud of, or maybe art to give away, or art to sell, or just art that is good art. Making that kind of art comes along with making a lot of bad art. But if that's your goal, take a class, keep practicing, keep playing. If it's not fun, no one likes to keep doing it and let the successes add up along the way and balance out the messes you are going to make. But I can tell you as someone who um, has made art all her life, you never get over that feeling that your art could be better or that it's not exactly what you want it to be. But it appears and disappears. It runs away and returns to taunt you. It's fleeting and faithful. It's everything there is to experience in the moment at hand. And then the moment is over and it's gone. So you look for it again in the next moment you have. I um, had a teacher once tell me, geez, over 40 years ago, that I didn't know what kind of artist I was going to be yet, and that was a very good thing. It's turned out to be true. Wherever I'm currently at in my art journey, I'm still learning what kind of artist I'm going to be, moment by moment. Okay, enough talking from me. Um, I'm going to quit talking and turn on some music and invite you to come along um, and moment by moment watch the process of me painting this um, story. And this story is about uh, time running out, hence the hourglass, and uh, the joyful moment of planting some seeds for another to carry on the painting. And that's um, what I'm trying to do here in this video as well. I hope that I have planted some seed for you to um, take and grow with in terms of um, 
trusting yourself to make art or learn to make art. It really is my belief that you're never too old to become an artist and all it requires is that you make some art. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.